Drew's news, your warm good news socks, fresh out of the dryer. Ooh, I do love that. Ooh, the best. Oh. Feetsies are cold. Boo, now they're warm. And, <laughs> and human warm sock, Rossi Ross Matthews. Yeah, well, thank you so much. Hi, hi, hi. Um, <laughs> Speaking of coming out warm from something, our first story is kind of that. <laughs> Great transition. Um, <laughs> what does Stephen King make for dinner? Great question. Well, we've got the answer, and it's chilling in today's food news. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so the it's New York Post reports that Stephen King is horrifying fans yet again, but this time with microwaved fish. <laughs> he posted this recipe on Twitter for a man who's written thousands of pages. It's so simple, it's actually scary. Get a nice salmon filet, not too big. Put some olive oil and lemon juice on it. Wrap it in damp paper towels. Nuke it in the microwave for three minutes. Mm -mm. Eat it. Mm-mm. I'm sorry, for, what do you have? Oh God, no, you do not. It's not carbs. Okay. It's not carbs, Rossi. I feel so honored that I didn't, that I'm not shoving a bagel or a pizza or a fettuccine Alfredo down your always throat. a croissant or something here. Um, I will say, I can't believe he microwaves his fish. You know, for a man who wrote Firestarter, you can't light a flame, hello? <laughs> Um, all right, so we're, we're both gonna try this? You're gonna try it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna do a little lemon, just like you said. I have to say, it does look really nice. It I does. got scared and I was like, God. I'll let Ross try it. And then okay. now I'm looking at it and I'm thinking I made a mistake. All right, I'll, be, I'll tell you, I'll be, I'm not afraid of a little microwave. All right, ready? <laughs> Stephen King, there's nothing fishy going on here. It actually, it's flaky, it works. What? That's like. That's like a, a twist I didn't see coming. It's actually delicious. Here, Drew. Uh, well, I, I, I'll tell you a story about Stephen King instead of eating the salmon. You wanna just smell it? Nope. Understood. I. You know, <laughs> Stephen King, I went to stay at his house because I did Firestarter with him. Of and then um, I did this movie, Cat's Eye, with him, which was really just stories taken from his book, Night Shift. And um, so I got to go stay up at his house in Maine when I was a kid. And it was like the most joyful weekend of my life. Um, they had like a house that was just like so filled with soul and his wife, Tabitha, and their kids. And he made pancakes in the kitchen and then his office was upstairs in the attic and he had a pet scorpion named Boris. <laughs> so, no salmon for me, but that fun story is what I will offer about Stephen King. I love Stephen King so much and you know, if he wants to add salmon to that illustrious resume, microwave salmon, so be it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? You know why I love having a conversation with you? Why? Because then you go from microwave salmon to that one time I met Stephen King's Scorpion <laughs> Boris. You know, you just strap on, you never know where it's gonna take you. Hell, so that's I didn't see that coming.